Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here and welcome to another React video. I do like to do these because I like to explore my old content and we can all explore it together. Um, we know we're not watching Jev, but I'm currently watching Jev right now. We're going to go and look at uh, two videos right now, I think. Maybe maybe three. I'm not quite sure about relationships. Relationships. Sh sh relationships. Fuck it. What? What? Hello? Mouth? Real? <laughs> I'm not fucking with you, dude. This is real. I can't say that word. Relationships. Holy shit. And social life. I don't think I'm going to look at that one because it might just put me in a bad mood tonight. So we're going to close that. But right now we have these two. Maybe I'll find some more. So first video we're going to react to is my top 10 Call of Duty montage clips. Let's check it out. It's only three minutes long. Okay, I think everything there is spelled right. I remember the song. So I had my friend Dylan help me out with uh, ranking some clips throughout this. So Modern Warfare 3, cross the map, random throwing knife. Now the quality of the montage clips are actually going to be fairly poor because most of them were recorded back in the day before I had a capture card and I was recording with my DSLR on my screen like this. So they're not very good. Oh god. Fucking toss that shit and slap that motherfucker with the knife. Because I knew they were going for the juggernaut. Dude, that was nice. Modern Warfare 3, got a 3 for 1. Let's see. Alright, so we're- oh, Dude, you can't even fucking see anything. You can't see anything. So we're playing 3v3, and I think I was playing with my friend Errol at the time, and we had a rando on our team or whatever, I think. And- Slip! Triple kill. Dude, triple collaterals. I almost- and I freak out. I'm like, I did not. Alright, Black Ops, Ceiling Tomahawk, Bank Shot. I even had the theater mode stuff. Banked it off the ceiling right in that guy's neck. Must have been in search. I don't know what that was. Indoor javelin wants to kill. If you don't know me, I was the javelin fucking king in Modern Warfare 3. I was so good with the javelin. I knew exactly where to launch it, and I do shit like this all the time where I don't even I don't, I don't even need the javelin to land to get multi-kills. Aim right there. There's a ceiling above me. Boom. What's up? Black Ops 1, 2, 3, Tomahawk. Slap. Slip. Dude, scavenging tomahawks, not fair. It's just a triple kill, it wasn't even that good. Ghost quad feed, I'll take a quad feed, bam. Super choppy, because I was actually recording this on the Xbox's record function, which when the Xbox One first came out was not very good. It, it recorded like pretty low, uh, like 23 frames, 720 or something, it was crap. Modern Warfare 3, get turned on and not turned on, turned on. What, you're shooting me? I don't think so, motherfucker. And I take out this guy too. You can't see it, but Ghost hit marker to a 360 finisher. Slide over here with the links. Quick scope, him. didn't kill him. Spin around, boosh, finish him off. Nice. Modern Warfare 3 getting eight man feed on terminal, I believe. One, two, three, four. Reload with the MSR. Five. Pop this shit off. Fast forward just a little bit. Get ourselves up here again with a shitty quality. Six. Seven and eight. Now that one was actually recorded on my first capture card, I believe. That was my hoppage, and that thing, it's like a bleeding armpit, dude. It's horrible. 360 followed by a cleanup. So I USP, swap, 360, and slap that guy too. And slap that guy too. 360 to a uh, two to a three cleanup. Modern Warfare 3, running around as a zombie, get a seven infection spree. So I infect seven people in this one life, which is kind of nutty. It's not that nutty, but considering survived that, that's three throwing knives in a row. Try to get four. Didn't work out. You got to chase that guy down, stab him in the kidney, rip it out, sell it on eBay. Are you camping? I don't think so. Got myself a throwing knife kill on you, ho. I'm not going to use the original song, by the way, because uh, I don't know if it's copywritten. I'll have my own music behind it, though. I had to run all the way around here trying to find, like, was it, like, four people left or something? I don't know. Slap. And that was it. Hey, that was my end card. I had my friend, uh, a different Sam, um, make that for me on the bottom of the AH Lincoln thing. It was just a Photoshop. But uh, now we're going to look at 10 more random facts about me. And this was uploaded on January 22nd. Ah, I didn't realize it was that close. Today's the 30th. 2016. 227 views, 18 likes. And who's on here? Oh, really? Shay's here? I'm gonna... Um, Shay's is, uh, my ex-girlfriend way back in the day. 
um, my DeviantArt ex-girlfriend. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here, and I am back with another. Uh, I didn't realize I've had that shirt for this long. I mean, not thirty this time, but I can think of uh, ten as of right now, and I will. As I'm I think wondering. Of facts, you know, I'll let I'll, when I'm bored, I'll let it kind of process, and I'll write them down. Uh, but I got ten more random facts for you guys. If you want to see the thirty random facts, I will link down in the description below, or put a card, or an annotation, or something. Sorry Click about that. To watch for that. 30 random facts. Sorry about this, this right video, here. We got ten more. The Let's corner of my green screen. I hate it. Let's do this. We're going to go back. All right, so you didn't cut that Number out? One, <laughs> I don't get addicted to things. Now, um, addiction is, to me, I don't me, think I get addicted mental. to things. Um, it's, your, it's, it's not true. Your, it's your brain no. saying, I need this, whether it's, whether how your um, body feels about that thing or not, like, say, nicotine, whether or not you get the cravings, like, you you feel like you want to feel... Uh, for caffeine, you know, you get like withdrawals or whatever. That it's all mental uh, to me, and I just don't get addicted. I don't get. It's definitely not to all mental. Sugar. That's. Um, uh, I never smoked. Or misrepresenting my like own that, thoughts. But to me, I couldn't see myself getting addicted to those things because I just don't have an addictive personality. You know, I can literally stop. People say you're addicted to video games. People say you're addicted to drinking. Like when I used to drink Mountain Dew and soda a lot, but I wasn't addicted. You know, just to prove a point. I stopped. I didn't play Xbox for about uh, a month or two. No, a month. I think. I I do still stand by the fact that I'm not an addictive person. I don't have an addictive personality. For me, it's not addiction as more. Uh, it's along the lines of habituary. So for me, it's just habit that I get up and I have an energy drink when I wake up. And most people have coffee. It's part of their routine. It's their habit. It doesn't mean that I'm addicted to it. I don't get cravings for it. And I definitely don't get. With, uh, I don't get actual, like, um, I guess withdrawals to that degree. Sure, if I go a day without having caffeine as opposed to having caffeine the prior three days, I'll probably get a headache that day because that's the chemical change in me and just, you know, physiologically changing in me that I don't have that thing that my body's used to having. So without that, there's a reaction. But to me, I'm not like, I fucking need caffeine. I need caffeine. Are you caffeine? I need you in me. It's not like that. Number two, I don't like fish. The only fish... I have ever eaten is tuna, which I don't eat anymore because I once found a bone in my tuna, like a can mm -hmm. of tuna. Um, that was an overreaction. And, uh, you did not like gag. Fried haddock. I had that at work, and I was like, I could handle a couple bites of that, but every other fish is like. Bleh. Okay, so now how that's changed is now that obviously I'm older. This was what did I say? This was 2016. So yeah, this is four years ago. Uh, I was. Um, definitely not open to fish at the time, and I still not. I don't like fish, but I can handle some fish the way we prepare it at work. The way we prepare our salmon, I can handle it because our salmon is not that fishy. I've had salmon from other places thinking it would be relatively uh, the same, just similar. Definitely wasn't. Other places that uh, I've had salmon at were super, super fishy. Did not like it at all. But I like our salmon at work. I can handle it because the way we cook it and uh, just whatever have you. I like scallops. I do like um, fried scallops. And I like pan-seared scallops. That's nice. I can handle I got burps all of a sudden. I can handle that. I can handle some broiled haddock um, sometimes. Again, the way we make it at work. That doesn't mean I'm ever in my entire life. not. I'm not going to order seafood. Maybe scallops. Maybe. If I'm desperate and there's nothing else to eat. Maybe scallops, but scallops are fucking expensive, so I, I I take that back. I will never in my entire life order seafood. This order is French toast, pancakes, waffles. And number I still two, agree this by is that. something that affects me almost agree every single with that. day in my life and always has. I have some pretty bad insomnia, and I almost never get into a deep sleep. So I do now. Definitely now. I do, I'm too fucking tired now. I'm an adult. I do shit. Level, let's say, Ugh. four out of five. Okay, so five is the deepest possible sleep. And a regular person gets like between three and four out of five, okay? I barely make it to one. I get enough to reach unconsciousness and that's I wouldn't about have said it. that. Um, basically, I, I am... I definitely did used to be um, a super light sleeper. Like, I used to be a really light sleeper. You could like turn my door handle when I'd wake up kind of thing. Even with having uh, like the TV playing stuff in the background, just I would pick up any foreign noise I didn't go to bed experiencing. Um, but now, um, <laughs> I'm definitely a much, uh, I'm a, I'm a heavier sleeper. Just like my brain's turning off. It's like, finally, sh fucking, I can sleep. I can not be alive for a little bit. So I tune out a lot of stuff. 
I don't wake up to any text message notification, anything like that, unless it's a phone call. Because uh, obviously it's a louder ringtone that goes on longer. It wakes me up. But I, I am a bit um, heavier of a sleeper now. I still wake up pretty, pretty good. But I, I used to wake up every single time my phone would go off at night. Every time I get a ding for Messenger or a text message or um, like a t- Twitter notification or something, I would wake up to the slightest sound. And now I'll wake up and I'll have like 30,000 you know, emails, spam emails tell me to get a bigger penis and I'll never have, you know, heard any of those notifications. I feel so bad whenever people like I have my my friend this morning, Anne, was coming to um, grab some stuff and um, she texted me like, hey, I'm 10 minutes out. I didn't get that message and I didn't know she was coming until she was calling me and knocking on the door. I'm like, <laughs> I like stumbled out of the out of the fucking my bedroom with a half chub and I'm like, what's going on? Oh, you're here. OK, cool. I got to give you this stuff. Hold on. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm definitely a heavier sleeper. That's the same person as this person. I don't know who's sexier. Hold on. Which, which one of us is sexier? <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Old me is sitting there thinking about whatever he's thinking about and have no idea that in four years down the line, I'm going to be licking my own face in a green screen. Just... I wonder if I ever turn to to my left at any point. I'm gonna make out with myself. <laughs> Look, old me is holding new me. Don't drop me. I might get hurt. I'm so fragile and weak. What are you doing? Put me down. Uh, <laughs> shut the fuck up, dude. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.